Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Today I wanted to show you guys how Steam in-home sharing, sorry not in-home sharing, in-home streaming works. Um, so basically I've got my media PC here in the lounge room. It's connected to our home network by uh, Cat6 gigabit ethernet. So that's one gigabit, that's a one gigabit connection. Now my PC in my uh, computer room, which is my normal, uh, which is the PC I do all my development on, that's actually my gaming PC. It's got a Core i7-4770K overclocked to, I think it was 4.1 or 4.2 gigahertz. I can't remember now, it's been ages since I did it. Um, it's got like 32 gig of RAM and an NVIDIA GTX 980 in it. Now I'm using in-home streaming. I'm going to stream, as you can see it says on the screen here, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I'm just using a standard Xbox 360 controller. Um, so I'm going to launch the game and I'll give you guys a quick demo. Now basically this is going to run at 1080p 60fps with no latency at all. Both PCs are connected like I said through gigabit, gigabit ethernet so that's one gigabit connection um, and it looks amazing. It's almost as if I had a 980 here in this PC with me right now when I actually obviously don't. Now this game also has the world's longest introduction so we'll let that play out. I've also got the volume turned down on it quite a bit so that I don't get, uh, hopefully I don't get done for copyright if there's some you know good music playing or something like that. So I'm just going to start off a quick, uh, I don't know, let's just uh, continue the story I suppose. Uh, and I'll show you how it, how it runs. So I'm basically looking around um, and as you can see it just, it looks amazing. There's, I mean in the video you might be getting a little bit of lag but on my PC here and on my screen I'm seeing this 60 FPS no latency at all. It's running in ultimate maximum details. Um, now if I pull the controller up here, I don't know if you can be able to see my finger. So there is a little bit of latency between when my finger moves and when the camera moves. However, it is, from, from my perspective as playing it, it feels nothing more than as if I was playing on an Xbox. Um, it's not noticeable. So I'm just gonna do a bit of butt kicking and this game is just freaking awesome. I only found this game um, the other day and yeah, it's just, uh, there we go, it's uh, take, take his head or whatever that is, I think it's his head. Anyway, so you get the idea, this game runs and looks fantastic. I'm going to jump out of this game now and I will show you some other games. Not all games work perfectly in this. I have had a couple of issues. For example, I loaded Tomb Raider up earlier and it opened on my desktop PC, my streaming PC, but it didn't open on this PC. In situations like that, you actually have to get up off the couch, go back to the other PC and you know close the game or set it up properly. Um, so in this next demo, what will I show you guys? What have we got? Uh, let's load up. What can we load? I'll tell you what, let's give uh, Street Fighter 4 a shot. I'll just open that up. And yeah, you, you should be able to see, hopefully it comes through on the video, but there, there's no latency at all in this. It's just amazing. Um, it's, it's as if I was playing it here, right on this PC. Um, and also, again, I have to apologize for the audio quality. I'm not recording this on my standard standard setup. This is just my, um, my camera that I'm recording this with. So I'll let the, I'll let the video play. Actually, I'll, I'll turn it down a little bit more in case it, uh, it picks it up on YouTube. Hopefully it doesn't, but there we go. So as you can see, it's smooth, smooth as butter, 60 FPS, no latency. As far as input lag goes, like I said, there's, it's negligible. I don't feel it when I'm playing the game. Um, so there you go, Street Fighter 4, you can see that's working perfectly. And I'll give it one last shot. I will open up um, oops, games. Tomb Raider, just to uh, to see if it works. It didn't, like I said, it didn't work last time, but maybe it will work this time. Oh, it is working this time, awesome. Sometimes games that open up for the first time and have like a configuration screen don't work because you have to do the configuration on the PC. See, like what you can see right now is that it hasn't come through with audio, so there's no audio. Well, actually, maybe there is audio, but I turned it down. No, there's no audio. So what I'll do is I'll just quit and I mean, this this happens. It's uh, I think it's only just come out of beta, but still, it is a little bit, a little bit buggy. 
So all you do is you move around until you hear sound again, like that. And then you click stream, and then usually the second time it comes through with sound. <coughs> Excuse me. So hopefully we'll get some sound this time. Just pull the mouse out of the way. There we go. Oh, we got a bit of a glitchy sound this time. Oh well, that's fine. Sometimes it happens, like I said, you just have to keep closing it and opening it. Um, what I'll do is I'll just load up a, a save file so you can see again another instance of, of how it looks. I mean, the game is running in, in ultra details on my high powered gaming machine and I'm playing it here in the living room on a, on a medium power entry level PC. This, I mean, let me, get the, let me get the controller up in front of the screen there so you can see my thumb. It's no, it's no more latent than an Xbox controller. It looks, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a, uh, a bit of a cold again. Um, it looks a lot more. I think the audio is fixed as well. No, it's still, it's still crusty. Um, it looks very latent on the video, but you have to take my word for it. Um, if you have the right conditions. If you have the right conditions set up, this game is more than playable. I can't even feel this latency. It honestly feels no more latent than playing it on the Xbox 360 or the PS4. So yeah, this is just a bit of a Tomb Raider gameplay, and it looks amazing. I mean, this is I don't even, I don't know actually know what settings this is running in, but uh, 1920, 1080, uh, 60 hertz. Quality set to ultimate motion blur on, screen effects on, everything is just on. Um, ultimate ultra trace effects, FX AA, shadows, let's bump those up. Uh, ultra high, ultra, ultra, all post processing, everything. I mean, as long as you've got a PC that can play, I mean, even if you don't have a PC that can play games in these kind of settings, they've got everything's on maximum now. Let me also just uh, check the focus of my camera. It looks like it's focused pretty well. Yeah, even if you don't have a PC that can play games on, you know, that kind of setting, you're still going to get a better experience and, and far high, higher quality uh, visuals than a next-gen console. But I don't want to start that debate. I'm a PC gamer. That's, uh, that's how it is. There you go. Just to show you... Oh, he's got away. I was going to show you how... Um, how good the controls are that I can actually hit a target that's running. Except if you've ever seen any of my FPS videos, you'll know that I'm absolutely shit at uh oh shit I'm out of arrows as well. <laughs> that I'm absolutely terrible at uh FPS and FPS like games. Here we go. So I'm gonna hit this target just so you can see that it works. There you go. See that? So you wouldn't be able to hit a target in the head like that, even a slow one. Um, oh, wrong button there. Even a slow one with a with a bad input. Like I said, it's it's honestly nothing more than the Xbox the Xbox 360. It may be slightly more, but you can't you can't even feel it. Um, so yeah, this is just a, a demonstration of you know what to expect with the. Uh, there we go. See that? I got that one while it was running. So that's just that just proves that you can can easily play. Uh, any standard FPS controls with this. So yeah, that was a bit of Tomb Raider. Um, let's exit to the main menu. Oh, and of course, before I do that, uh, let's say I'm in game and I push the middle button on my Xbox 360 controller, all of my standard Steam overlay stuff, it's all still working perfect and fine. You can load music up in the background. Everything you can do, you know, a Steam machine, um, anything you can do on a Steam machine or using Steam OS or um, using big picture mode in general, you can do using in-home streaming. <clears throat> um, I'll just keep loading up games, I suppose. Keep loading up games and talking. That uh, sounds, like sounds like a plan to me. Uh, quit game. Are you sure you'd like to quit? Yes, I'd like to quit. Yeah, so as soon as you quit the game, I'm not sure how this works in the background, but I believe the other PC closes the game, then the remote desktop connection or whatever they're using in the background, the technology, um, figures that out and then it dumps you back out into your uh, into your in your local version of Steam. Um, so let's give uh, another game a quick run. I'll tell you what we'll run. We'll just run Magicka. 
I don't know if I've run this on my on my desktop PC, so it may bomb out. It may not. Usually, you can tell if it's not going to work because it just doesn't work. So here you go. This might be an example of what happens when it doesn't work. It looks like it is working, but it's just uh, what's going on with it. No, it actually doesn't look like it's working. So what you do is if you've got a if you've got a um, a keyboard for your media PC, you just Alt Tab, close out of it, and you go find another game to play. Uh, let's try Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light. Here we go. And hopefully this one will work. Like I said, once this stuff starts happening, if you do get any sort of issues like this, you potentially will, it will potentially keep failing. Uh, there you go, Steam streaming client failed. But if you click play again, you'll see straight away it jumps you in. And this may have even jumped us into Magicka, um, but it didn't, it jumped us into Lara Croft. And the Guardian of Light. So yeah, I don't know what the, I think the frame rate in this video is only 30 FPS, so you're not going to be able to see the smooth, the smoothness. Let's just jump into a, uh, uh, what's my input not working? Jump into a single player. Does this game even support control? I don't even know if, if the controller is working now. See, the controller's not working now, so, but thankfully, you know, mouse and keyboard works fine. I've just got a, a media keyboard. I don't know if you can see that. This is my finger. That's the keyboard. And then if I touch this bit, it's got a touch screen and I can control it with, with my hand anyway. Um, there we go. Yes, go ahead, overwrite. Doesn't, doesn't bother me too much. So yeah, um, it's just loading. And of course, the benefit of playing these games from your actual gaming PC using some sort of proxy in your living room is that you get the benefit of your gaming PC. If you've got like a killer fast SSD in that PC, then, then yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to listen to what he said. Um, yeah, if you've got a killer fast SSD, loading screens are gonna take no time at all, you know? That's just how it is. So, I mean, this game here, I'm pretty sure it's just tap to run on us. It's, what's the controls? There you go, it's W, S, A, D, and mouse controls. So look at that, I can still perfectly play this. It's actually a little hard because I'm playing on the, um, playing on this little media, little media PC. Is the gamepad working? The gamepad doesn't appear to be working. Sorry about that, something seems to have um, happened to my recording during the middle of um, Tomb Raider. So I'll jump into Battle Block Theatre just to show you quickly how, how it handles, you know, that sort of game. And very simple, you know, you just start the game and up it pops. Um, blood violence, crude humour, I love that. The behemoth. Anyway, so as you can tell, uh, you probably can tell by now, there's no latency at all. It, it works perfectly. Um, this is actually a good demo, this game. Uh, the story, let's just do that. Normal mode. I'm just going to pick a, a character as it is. And I'm just going to keep talking, otherwise YouTube will probably flag me for having this background audio in the video. So forgive me for continuously talking, but I'm going to have to. Right, now just to, uh, so you can see this, if I put the, the button here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. When I tap the button, you can see the time it takes for the jump to happen. There you go. So, oh, sorry, I bumped the tripod. Um, yeah, so you're able to tell it, it, it's a very low latency. Here we go. Betrayed by Hattie. Let's just jump into a level. Any level will do. There we go. So you can see, perfectly playable. Oh. What's the button to attack these guys? It's been so long since I played this. There we go. There we go, we got him. We'll wait for that to come back so I can uh Fuck. Oh that's right, there's stuff here. You can jump on that. Anyway, as you can tell, it's uh certainly have I'm certainly having no problem maybe get the final gem. Certainly having no problem playing that game. Um 
so yeah, there's there's no latency. I just wanted to show you guys what uh, Steam in-home streaming is like when you have a, a proper network set up. Um, so yeah, like I said, both computers are connected via Cat6 Gigabit Ethernet. Um, Cat6 doesn't really mean anything. If you have Gigabit Ethernet, you've got Gigabit Ethernet. All it is is the, the cable has some extra shielding in it to uh, prevent against uh, interference. I hate the menu in this game. You can never quit. Um, yeah, and a couple of a couple of other small things, but basically, they these two PCs are connected to a router, high-speed internal networking router that we have here in our house, um, and so basically, this computer and the other computer are able to make a direct connection with each other through that router, and that router is also not dealing with the internet traffic, so it, it's not taxed or anything. We basically have a modem as well as a router. Um, as well as a DHCP server which gives out the IP addresses to the to the computers and setting it up in that way basically allows you to have the most probably the, the fastest actual connection between two computers within your local network as without ta taxing the sorry, without taxing the modem because um, if your modem is dealing with internet traffic then it's also going to be uh, busy dealing with that while you're trying to stream video footage in your house. Uh, so it's kind of a semi-complicated networking setup. It's not it's not too simple, but yeah. Let's try a cube, the Atlas Cube. I got this game because I got the, uh, what do you call it? That thing, the Rift. The Oculus Rift. Uh, and yeah, as you can tell, it's uh, it still appears to be set up for the Oculus Rift. So I'm going to quit this game. I don't think I can because the menus aren't working because it's in a funky resolution. Yeah, alright. It doesn't look like I can exit this game because the, uh... Let me refresh the camera. There we go. Because the... Oh, because the screen resolution is weird and it doesn't look like uh, Steam in home sharing supports that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and share this video on your favorite social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, MySpace, wherever you like. So, um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, comments, questions, feedback, anything you like in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.